This wheel is rolling forward as shown. It has kinetic energy due to its rotation as well as its translation. That may seem sort of obvious, and so let's take that as an axiom. That the kinetic energy of the wheel is due to two components. It's due to its rotation, 1 half i omega squared, where i is about the center of mass. That's the moment of inertia about this center point here. Plus 1 half m v center of mass squared, right? So this is just the traditional 1 half m v squared term. But we remember from rolling motion that the velocity of the center of mass is equal to omega r, where r is the radius of the wheel. So let's make that substitution. Done so here. This term comes down as is. And we've just replaced v center of mass with this omega r. Let's just square everything inside here. Let's carry out this exponent. So it's omega squared r squared. It's done so here. Now they both have the common factor 1 half omega squared. See it here, 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 and here. So let's factor that common factor out. And we're left with this. Now let's rearrange. Let's just take this omega squared and put it on the other side for demonstration. So we've just rearranged it like so. Notice what this quantity is in parentheses. This, is, this quantity is the moment of inertia about this axis right down here at the bottom. Because we remember that the parallel axis theorem says that the moment of inertia of some other point on a body is equal to the moment of inertia about the center of mass, right, plus the mass of the object times the distance between those objects squared, the distance between those axes squared, right? So to get from this axis to this axis, we add m r squared, right? Okay, so let's label this point down here at the bottom, p. And so we can say that the kinetic energy of a wheel is equal to 1 half i subscript p omega squared. Well, the moment of inertia for i subscript p is the moment of inertia about this bottom point right here. We remember from rolling motion that this wheel is pivoting about that point right there, and that that point has an instantaneous zero velocity, right? So this is an important result. This tells us that if we have the moment of inertia of an object about some axis, and that axis is not moving, right, which this point is not, then we can take into account the entire kinetic energy of the object by writing down one kinetic energy term as long as we take into account the moment of inertia about that fixed axis. This will be useful for taking into account rotational, well, total kinetic energy for rolling wheels as well as for other objects that are, you know, rotating about some fixed axis. Most especially the long, thin rod We'll show up on exams and homework, so we'll take a look at that next. See you next time.